welcome back to the garage if this is your first time visiting my channel please go ahead click on subscribe and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel all right so it's that time of year again it's spring everybody's coming out of hibernation mode and everybody's looking around the house and say wow really got a lot of work to do and uh, if you are a homeowner homeowner more than likely you do have one of these little guys a little electric pressure washer or even a gas pressure washer um they do make uh, short work of, of a lot of uh uh, not fun jobs, you know, like, um, cleaning mildew off the fence, mold mildew, power washing your house, cleaning your car, cleaning your deck and everything else. But as homeowners or, or whatever else that you do, you're always looking to make something a little bit easier than it already is. Uh, cause nobody wants to be out on, the out in the uh, yard for 18 hours on a weekend. Power washing when you can do other stuff, fun stuff other than cleaning the house and everything else. So, to assist in this task, Ryobi has come up with this device, a 12 inch surface cleaner. So by their claim, this is supposed to be four times faster than just using the uh, traditional wand. Some may ask, what is this thing? So this is an attachment that uh, goes onto your pressure washer. And what happens is, when you pull the trigger, uh, the water is directed through this arm and the arm spins. And it has two uh, nozzles on it and so it oscillates and uh, goes in a circle and with this you can essentially theoretically do a 12 inch uh, swath on a deck or hard surface or whatever that you're trying to do and it's supposed to uh, be four times faster all right so why, why don't we go ahead and hook this up uh, we'll check it out and I'll give you my my thoughts on it all right so this is a pretty typical scenario this is underneath uh, my grill on a wood deck, a lot of mildew and algae and whatever. So why don't we go ahead and fire this thing up and see how it does. better um, it's not great I still see some uh, algae and whatever on some of these boards so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change over to the uh, turbo nozzle and see if I can get it off with the turbo nozzle all right so I just went back at it hitting it with the turbo nozzle and it looks like it's just stained turbo nozzle isn't really getting it off either so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over the rest of the deck with the uh, that device and we'll come back and see how it looks this is how the deck looks now with it dry so we'll go ahead and uh, go over the over the entire surface let it dry and come back at it what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go after another surface and this is a uh, patio and it consists of pavers pretty uh, common and if you look we got a lot of uh, algae and mildew and you know it's typical stuff that grows on your patio and just like on the deck so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, that surface cleaner and go after it and see how it does
are the results. Uh, this is about a day after. It started raining uh, as I got towards the end. So I did a pretty good job. All the mildew and algae and everything else that got by the grill is now gone. It's not a miracle worker, but it does do a pretty good job. So just as a comparison, bring it over by the, uh, the post. So that's what it looked like originally. So a little bit of the before and after. And then looking at the uh, the patio, the patio does a really good job. So if you were to do this with a traditional pressure washer using the turbo nozzle, it would probably take you probably the better powder of an hour, hour and a half using the uh, that surface cleaner. It took all about 20 minutes to do. So. But so there you go. I would recommend it. You know what I've noticed that is uh, it is pretty forgiving. Um, there's really no worry about uh, tearing up the the wood deck with this thing, as compared if you use a regular like a 15 degree tip or something like that, or like a turbo nozzle. Um, you, can be, you have to be really careful when doing on wood, or sometimes you'll actually tear into the uh, into the boards themselves but using that uh, surface cleaner it's pretty gentle with it it does a pretty good job it's very forgiving so I recommend it all right so if there's any questions thoughts concerns go ahead and leave them in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and as always thanks for watching and have a great day